All right, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Thursday. I know that a lot of people do it on Tuesday, but Turtle Thursday, it just sounds better to me personally. I wanted to check out this Mutations Mix and Match Metalhead. Now, I have not seen Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. I saw the movie. I did not care for it. It is not meant for me. If it's meant for you, fantastic. It was not meant for people that are my age, I guess. Uh, so I don't know if this toy is geared toward younger people, but it looks like it could be. Um, I think it's probably geared more toward them because, I mean, it's not like it's retro and it doesn't call back. But it does have some parts you can mix and match. Now, if I had some of the older mix and match from a previous, what was it, the 2013 wave, I would bring them up and show you. I did have some of those, but they are gone since now. On the back, we can see that we have more turtles, more mutations. So you have more permutations is what it should say. Uh, you can, you know, the more you have, the more permutations, the more possibilities of combinations. All right, although technically it's permutations. Um, so we have on the back, it says swap parts to create your own mutant. We have Mikey's torso, Leo's head, Splinter's arm, uh, Metalhead's arm, Raph's leg, and we have uh, Bishop's leg. I'm not sure what a Bishop is. But evidently it's a mech right here. Oh, that's the one with the little creepy guy inside of it that I don't I saw that I was like, the mech looks cool, except for that creepy guy just ugh. the mechazoid looks pretty cool too. I don't remember seeing it in my store. There were two packs, but the two packs, even though they may have came with a few extra pieces, they cost the same as two of these. So I was like, I'm not sure I'm gonna like them at all. I really don't like the way the turtles' heads look connected to the body. So I skipped out on any of those. I I just wanted, I, I like this character in particular. I have my original one from back in the 19, what was it, 90s? Uh, maybe late 80s. So I still have the original to this and I just really like this character. But you can see that there's all four turtles, Splinter, uh, and then there's three robots, which is interesting because you would imagine they would have put some of the more popular characters in, but they put robots in, which I personally like robots. When the fearsome new foe emerges from New York City, the turtles must lend a hand to their allies. Literally. You can mix and match figurines or figures to create a new mutation to carry out important missions. So I don't know what that's about. Here's the UPC if you need to find out if it's at your store. By now it should be at everybody's store. I saw these at the uh, a few weeks ago actually down in the... Uh, I, have, I know I've been resisting the opening in it. I was going to do it live, but then I thought, eh, I'll just do a video and on the same day, actually, as the live. I just, here lately, my live ones are getting messed up. So, um, coming out of the package, we have Raphael's head. Sorry about the lighting. I'm doing the best I can. It's, uh, so it, it looks more like it, okay, so on the uh, turtle figures, this, this looks so weird, this head part. All right, we have Michelangelo's Nunchucka. We have a uh, machete, that is uh, not a katana, that is definitely a machete. And it's to be held, weirdly enough, with the hands in there. We have what I'm gonna assume is Leonardo's left arm. Let's see, is this the one they're talking about in the back? Nope, it is not. They have Leonardo's head on there, not Leonardo's left arm, but since it has a blue band and it does have like the uh out of the Thunderdome kind of arm plating, we have um Donatello's staff with an uh, open end on it, which makes me wonder if it goes with some other weapon. We have a side from uh Raphael or his signature weapon, I guess I should say. We have this teeny tiny personal pan pizza thing. And then we have the little tie thing on the back end, which I didn't come prepared to take it off. Let's see what I got over here to clip it out with. I had to put my uh, tools over there because I kept on losing them inside of the thing. All right, so taking him off the package, you might call it hard coming out. What else is holding him? Oh, he's got little plastic things inside. All right. I mean, oh my gosh, seriously people, how many things do you want to have to put on this guy? This is one of my pet peeves. I actually put it in the uh, forum the other day about, well, you know what really grinds my gears? It's all these little plastic things. When I cut them out, people are like, oh, you could just use fingernails. Yeah, but I have fat fingers, so getting, getting fingernail clippers or wire cutters into those places 
can be a health risk. I can cut my finger off not realizing it, or just trying to get them into there. It's just, it's just not, it's just a challenge. It's, it's an unnecessary challenge. I feel like there's too many things in life that are making life a challenge. Why add to it? All right, so yeah, the lighting is really bad. It looks like it's really one-sided. All right, so coming out of the package, we have a head that's on a ball joint because it literally is a ball joint. This is what I'm talking about. The heads, that extra skin on the bottom that makes it part of the ball joint, it just looks weird to me. I, I wish they had made it cut off right here and go up into his head. Yeah, I'm not personally a fond fan of that, but I can use heads on other things, um, things that need heads like those rock em, sock em robots. I need to get those out and start putting some heads on there. All right, the left arm comes off. It's on a ball joint. There's no articulation, but it's really soft and gummy plastic. The left arm and right arm come off. Um, oh, these are these legs are really gummy. He stands well though. Well, what what little's left on him? Those come off, and then there's a thing on his side right here. It doesn't come off, and his torso doesn't have articulation in the waist. He's got a weapon, uh, probably to hold this on his back. So you can pop him completely apart. You can put the human arms on there, which creeps me out just to think about. It's very uh, Robocop. <clears throat> Gosh, I should have brought some drinking here. I didn't know I was going to get that thirsty all of a sudden. Uh, Robocop, but I don't have the legs and other ones. Now, if you do buy the $20 um, pack with two figures, from what I looked at it and I bought it in the store, there are a few extra pieces on it, but it comes with a, a, a human, uh, an organic being like Michelangelo and the figure that you are really want if you're a robot fan like me. Now, I'm a turtle fan, but I just think that, I don't know, this doesn't get it for me. If you see what I'm talking about, if you see the turtle figures, you know what I'm talking about. The neck, it just looks, it just looks bad to me, personally. But I do like the concept of being able to pop things apart and rearrange them. I mean, it could add to the fun of it, I guess. Um, it's a pretty good metalhead figure on its own merit. Now, I don't know if they make another metalhead figure as of yet. I haven't seen the show. I don't know anything about it. I don't pay attention to these figures in the store normally. They had a big, huge display where you're walking by, like if you're going to the fishing section in the store. All right, so we got this weapon right here. Um, Donatello's weapon. Does he hold it well? Yeah, I'd say so. He holds it pretty well. And he stands fairly well, too. So it's not like he's, uh, oh my gosh, I can't have a way of standing him. He's just so hard to stand. No, he does a really good job standing. Even though that moves smoothly, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall over. Like, if I put it like this, I don't feel like it's going to slowly, like, slump down or whatever. You know, like, when it's usually that easy to move, it also makes it that easy to, like, like that when he's, you're not looking. Doesn't seem like that to me. All right, so this piece right here would go on his back while not in use. Okay, like that. This is a really awesome weapon. I love machetes. Uh, one time I was at camp and I was called Machete Hawk, or Shetty Hawk as I like to call it, um, because I, I had a machete and I was clearing a path in the woods first to get down to the creek. This is like a camp camp, not like a one of these modern day camps that people go to. Like you were camping out. I'm guessing you put that right there. It looks like it looks like wiring, but it kind of goes with the theme. Um, or you could put it on the side right here. I suppose there's multiple places you can put it. I mean, you can put it on the side. It probably looks better on the side. If you're going to put his machete, I think his machete, that little slot right there is where his machete goes. Hmm. If it is, it's awfully tight or it doesn't give much of a space to go into. I don't know. I can't seem to get it down in there. There might be another option I'm not aware of. Um, I don't see anything on the package. And there's no, wait a minute, is there instructions? Because there's a little, no, the instructions are just that. There's nothing really in there. So there's nothing in there for that. Here's his sigh. And let's see, maybe that's supposed to be for the, nope, nope. Nope, but can do this, I suppose. I like to be able to put all the weapons on something. There you go. I mean, it's not the best way to put something, but yeah. Maybe it's meant for that little cookie sized pizza. I, I have no idea what it's really for. It's one of those things that if you guys watch the movies or the TV series, you probably know. I don't know. I don't have any intention of watching the TV series. I didn't care for the movie. I don't care for the TV series. 
but in his own respect, okay, let's so see his articulation. Of course, it's on a ball joint, but he can go out this far. Of course, he can go 360 degrees all the way around, but there is going to be kicking his own self. Although, I guess he clears himself because of the way the ball joints are made. But he goes in pretty well. He can touch his toes together, which I didn't think he would the way they're cupped. See, the way they're cupped is at a 45-degree angle. So he can go out this far. His arms can, of course, go around 360 degrees. It's on a ball joint, so he can... Do a little bit of shoulder shrugging here, like, I don't know. And let me put this back in there. And I kind of got a feeling that I should probably put his side over here and his nunchucka in the back because I don't like how this nunchucka is. Personally, I mean, it's like a jabby weapon pointing up. Eh, I don't think so. Although, I don't know if it'll go in this way. Let's see if I can go in this way. It's not looking like it's meant for it. I, I kind of like that right there. And then we'll just put that back and have it hold on like that. So I don't know. I think that's the way I'm going to keep mine. Overall, it's $10. Um, the figure, I think that that's worth it. I mean, you got some fairly nice paint schemes. There's not a lot of articulation. There's five points of articulation, but they're all ball joints. So that's kind of a plus. I do feel like over time, this will wear out. But remember, if you use floor wax polish, you should be okay. Uh, there's... Mostly it's printed or um, produced in that gray plastic that's a kind of a swirly look to it, you know. Um, but it's painted over in green, orange, and uh, yellow. Very much like the colors of the Teenage Mutant Turtles themselves. That orange is a little close to what the brown is, I guess, that's what they're going for. And the arm is really well painted for this guy. So I wonder if you can get enough little pieces. Like if you buy all the characters, could you make like an extra turtle? Is it like a build a figure ultimately? I don't think so, because I don't think they come with any extra bodies. I think all you're gonna get is extra arms and legs. Back in the 2013 series, which I think their heads look better than that, that's the same thing. I kept trying to get enough figures to where I could have a build a figure, but it wasn't gonna work out. And it was cool. I really, my favorite one from that series, and I wish I still had it, was the uh, lion or the tiger guy. And that's why I think, I swear I just got him, but uh, in a big old box of extra stuff that I got, like a big old box of everything. All right, so let me know what you think of this figure in your comments. I would love to hear from you guys. I, I personally think that this is the best of them. Um, this would be cool if it didn't have that creepy little guy inside there. It just creeps me out. I don't remember seeing Megazoid. So if I do end up buying another one, it will be Megazoid. Uh, if you look at his legs, I feel like they're just repaints of a lot of the parts from Metalhead. So I don't know. I don't know what a Mechazoid is. I remember there was a really cool figure back in the day. It was Chrome. And he looked like a samurai. He looked kind of like a, a shredder. But like an all Chrome, like colossus -y Chrome. Um, from the X-Men Colossus Chrome figure. And I'm not sure who he was. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I used to have him and I loved him a lot. And these little shoulder things come off. All right. Well, have a great day. And uh, remember, it's Turtles Thursday. So what did you look at today? What did you play with? What did you do today for your turtles?